about 30 more seconds till it hits nine and then we'll start then. So thank you so much um, if you're here with me and have some props available, let's bring them by your mat. So today I have a few different things. Um, I have my blocks and I have one near um, one side of the mat and the other near the other end of the mat. So in the beginning, our head will be on this side, our feet will be on this side, and it would be helpful to align the blocks that way. And then for anyone that likes padding under their knees, today I also have a blanket, um, once again, not an official yoga blanket, but anything in your house that works for padding. I didn't cue this specifically on Sunday, but it is something I incorporate regularly in my practice. So if you wanna jump up, grab a blanket or a towel for your knees, if your knees are sensitive, go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll keep this, for me today actually, I double up on my mat, you'll see. So I'm not going to use this specifically, but if you don't double up, it's nice to have nearby. And I'll put that to the side. Um, the pillow also can be used for knees. So once again, just using what you have at home, um, they will easily make do. And we did a little bit of binding on Sunday and we'll do some today as well. If that was challenging for you, then I also have a strap. Um, for me, I'm able to, but if you're unable to, what you would do when we do go to bind is under your strap or towel, towel, and just use that behind your back um, as your point of leverage and clasp, all right? So once again, um, have those nearby. When we go through the binding, I will cue uh, to use those as well. Um, all right, so let's get started today. And today we're starting in a reclined position called Supta Baddha Konasana. So Supta is reclined, Baddha is bound, and Konasana are the angles we make with our bodies. And what that looks like is soles of the feet together, knees out wide, then guide yourself down onto your back. And this is where we will start. Move that block out of the way. If you feel like your groins are really tight and your knees are pinching up, you need some support, you can take anything you would like under the thighs to support that. So always provide yourself what you need so that your muscle fibers can release and promote some lengthening and opening. We'll start with hands on the heart and belly. So one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, all right? And the breathing exercise that we're beginning with today, our, our pranayama exercise, um, is to help create space um, in the breath, in the length of breath, but also to almost elongate the moments and create the opportunity to have a thought between action and reaction or actually a lack of a thought, but a controlled response. So today, close your eyes. We'll start here together. And take an inhale through the nose. And then soft, audible, open mouth exhale. And let that go. One more time, inhale through the nose. And soft, audible exhale. And now seal the lips. And begin to breathe through the nose only. As the inhale travels through the nose, across the throat, allow it to have a bit of texture to it. So a thickness, a rolling sound. And let that inhale feel, fill the belly and then gently exhale. And we'll continue on these mindful, longer breaths of inhaling through nose, across throat. And fill belly and lungs now. And then exhale, release through nose. We'll start to build in the length of the breath, the inhales and the exhales. However, we're going to find some space at the end of each, a bit of retention. And so that retention creates a muscle and a habit, once again, to create space between action and reaction. And so let's inhale through the nose for a count of one, two, three, four. And pause there, retain. Exhale for four, three, two, one. And pause and retain. Inhale for one, two, three, four. And pause, retain on full. Exhale for four, three, two, one. And pause, retain on empty. We'll build from here. So now we're going to five. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, and pause, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and pause, inhale for one, five, pause, 
pose. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. And pause. One more time. Inhale now for one, two, three, four, five, six. And exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And pause. Inhale for one, two, six. And exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now start to breathe on your own. And continue to do this exercise to whatever length of breath feels comfortable, long, and textured. And now as you come to your end of your inhale, and take a moment to pause and see if you can also still the mind in that moment. No thought, empty space, and just hear the silence. And do the same on exhale. When you're empty, take that pause. Still the mind, no thought. Hear the silence. And three more times like this. Very nice. So let's play the eyes open from here. Take the palms, bring the knees together, soles of the feet to the ground. Let's heel toe the, the feet a bit wider than the hips. Let the inner knees touch, release the groins, maybe round the low back to press um, the lumbar spine into the ground a bit. And then from here, palms can be out wide if you'd like to just expand across the chest shoulders. And we'll bring both knees to the left to begin with and allow them to descend down. The right knee descends to the space between um, the left foot and left buttocks. We're not stacking right here. And then if you would like, take that left foot, extra breath here, left foot rests upon right thigh. Breathe into right side body, helping the right inner groin release, starting to stretch the muscles along the right outer hip. And then place that left foot down. Both knees will come to the right side. And pause there for just that moment. Again, letting left knee sort of um, fill the space between foot and buttocks. And then if you'd like on this last breath, take that right foot atop the left thigh. Draw that down a little bit. And continue to breathe as the body opens up around the hips. And release this side. Bring both knees down. Let's take a breath. Just tick tock back and forth. Start to open up at the hip joints. And send some oxygen rich blood all around that area of the body. One more time side to side. And let's meet in center. And draw the knees into the belly from here. Palms can be around the shins. And on the breath here, we're going to take circles at the hip joint. Like we're stirring the air with the knees. So begin by drawing knees in towards belly and then out wide, big inhale. And then exhale, come to center, draw in. Inhale and wide, exhale to center. One more time in this direction. And then we'll change that, coming through center, down, out, and in. Center, down, out, and in. And last time. We'll release the left foot to the ground, hug the right knee in. And it's an option here, you can keep the left foot grounded or if your body allows, extend that left foot out, flex the toes back. So the toes face upward, uh, kneecap is facing upward, hips are neutral here. And then continue to press through the left heel. You'll feel a little elongation or stretch along the left hip. Either stay here um, or draw the right knee out to the right side if you wanna get a little bit more into the inner groin and start to open up the right hip. 
And then an option to take the right palm into half happy baby here. So elbow to the inner right knee, and then foot faces upwards. Maybe keep the left palm on the left hip so you know that you're not rolling off to the right side or anything. Just a little compass for you to keep hips relatively neutral. Release right foot down from here. Extend everything long. Big inhale into the body, point flex. Maybe roll at ankles and wrists. And then bend both knees once again. Draw left knee into the belly. Hug that in to start with. And then layer upon as your body allows. So glide right heel forward on the ground. Flex right toes. Engage the right leg muscles. Press through the right heel for that extra stretch across the hip. And guide left leg off to the left side here. And the option to stay there, starting to open up at this angle for the hip, or if you'd like, take left elbow on inner left knee, palm to foot, and extend the foot into half happy baby. Right palm can come to right hip here. And then once again, release this side, big body stretch, point flex. And let's bend those knees once again. So for those of you with a block, please grab that block towards the head side of your mat. We'll take the block in between the thighs, and it's a nice guide for hip socket with distance apart. The block can run parallel to the thighs or perpendicular. Um, either way, no worries. So, I like parallel. And from here, lift the knees over the hips, and bring the palms, interlace them. Bring them behind the head. Cradle the head. Your elbows are out wide. Um, almost so that you cannot even see them in your peripheral vision. So you're really expanding across the chest. Then engage the core. And we're going to take mini cows and cats here. So as you inhale, and tilt the tailbone down, lift the belly a bit towards the ceiling, and notice that arch in the low spine. And then exhale, hug the belly in, and tilt tailbone almost upwards towards the heels without moving the knees. Once again, inhale, tilt down. And exhale, hug belly in, belly button to spine here. Now notice on this cat that your low back is touching the ground. I'd like you to work for that as we start to warm the core a little bit. And as you inhale, allow the foot pads to touch down. And then exhale, knees lift up only over the hips as elbows drop closer to knees. Inhale, we'll lower down. Exhale and lift. Now as you go through this, try to keep that low back long. Grounding down, most especially on exhale, but also work for that on the inhale if you can. Really engaging the core muscles to support the spinal movement. Five more here, so we're inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Three more, inhale, exhale. And final one, inhale, and exhale. So notice this movement, it's on breath here. Let's touch those feet down. Take the block out, open the block to the side. Movement's on breath to control the momentum and really focus on the muscles here, using those muscles. Um, so building from there, let's lift the knees over the hips once again. Extend the right leg long. It'll be down around 30 degrees um, upwards from that ground. On our inhale, we're extending out here for length. Exhale now, right elbow to left knee. Keeping the left knee where it is. Inhale, make that exchange. Right knee comes in. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Eight more here. Inhale for the exchange. Exhale and crunch. Follow your breath for seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, really nice. Place those feet down, palms by the hips. We'll come through a bit of a rolling bridge just to release the abdominals. So place palms down, press into palms, heat feet. Start to lift the hips. Take a big breath here as you tilt the tailbone to the inner knees, engage belly to spine, exhale. Then inhale, lift palms towards the back of the room, extending that bridge. Big belly breath, and exhale, lower everything down. Two more times like that, just on breath. Press into feet, palms, inhale and lift, reach back. Inhale, lift. And exhale and lower. Whew, let's 
draw the belt, the knees into the belly. Start to roll along the length of the spine. Take a few rolls along that spine, really massaging out the muscles of the back. And then we're gonna come through bent knees here. We'll meet back in a child's pose. So in child's pose, hips are um, sitting on heels. And for those of you that have any knee issues, I talked about this in the last video on Sunday as well, but I'm gonna give you a few more options. If you have any type of challenge in those knees, meniscus or ligaments, I highly recommend taking that blanket that you grabbed before class and trying this out. Um, coming up to the knees, wedging that blanket. Actually, I'm gonna go this way, wedging the blanket right in the back of the knees. Yeah, the knees are hip socket width distance. What that does is that supports the ligaments as you come down. It also supports the meniscus. And then drawing hips all the way back to heels. And from there, forehead can come down to ground. I'm going to stay like this today, but if you prefer traditional um, child's pose, then please take that variation. I'm staying like this with those people that are supporting the knees, forehead can come down. And for those people who also feel a little bit of strain in the back, I'm gonna give you your variation. A little block underneath that forehead, starts to lift the head up, elongates the spine, and reduces the strain um, in the low back or a sciatic area. And we'll take our breaths like this. All right, and if your forehead is on the block, if the blanket is between the thighs, let's remove that from here. Bring those off to the side. One more breath down in child's pose, really elongating the body. Pressing forehead on mat if it's there. Rolling along the crease of the forehead, releasing any tension. And then following our next inhale, please rise to tabletop. And peek back at knees, stack them underneath hips, untuck those toes, press into the tops of the feet, the tops of the ankles, almost so much that you can lift those knees off the ground if you wanted to. That'll take some pressure out of the meniscus and the patella. And then palms are spread wide, point your finger facing forward, webbing between thumb and pointer, facing forward as well. And let's roll those triceps back, biceps in here. Notice with that we have some great engagement and the arms also broaden across the chest. Maintain all this activation. Inhale, draw chest through into cow pose. Tailbone head tilt up without dropping belly or belly muscles away from spine. And then exhale, press away, tilt tailbone down, tuck chin in. We'll find cat pose there. Inhale, flow through into cow. And exhale, press all the way into cat. One more time on your breath. Inhale, come through and exhale, press away. And now as you inhale, draw the chest forward, drop the hips a little bit lower. It's like a high cobra modification. And exhale, round back. Hips are coming all the way, all the way back to heels if your body allows. Inhale, rise, high cobra. And then exhale, press away through cat, finding child's pose with parallel thighs. Last one here, inhale, draw through. And then exhale, press all the way away, coming down. Meet in tabletop, lengthen spine. Walk palms back underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And tuck left toes from here, extend left leg back behind. Take a moment here to rotate left pinky toe down. And with that, notice the activation of the inner left thigh. Hug belly up, and then shift weight to the left palm a bit. So that as you inhale, you can float left leg up and float right arm forward, rotate palm inward. I'm gonna take an inhale, extend just a bit out from there, engage core, as you exhale, knee elbow underneath body, balancing cat. Inhale, extend out, try to focus your gaze downward on one single point, exhale and under. Last time, inhale and out. Exhale, round back, knee elbow under. We'll take a transition. Inhale, extend out. This time, exhale, right palm, left foot down, rotate to inner edge, then kick right foot out. Peel the body open, stack left hip upon right for modified side plank. Option to stay here or lift left heel to hip height and sweep left palm forward, lengthen left side body. 
Layer three, if you would like, bend left knee, rotate palm around, take foot. If you take that foot, gather the shoulder blades, then press the hips a bit forward so the core is engaged as you find a half bow on the left side of the body. And from here, release left foot with care. We'll come down, sweep down, big left side body stretch on inhale, exhale, tabletop. And take neutral once again. And tuck right toes, press the leg back. And peek back, rotate that right pinky toe down, activate right inner thigh. And from there, shift weight to right hand. On inhale, lift left or right heel, left palm forward, rotate palm inward. Engage the core, inhale, extend out. Exhale, knee elbow under body. And big inhale, extend out. Exhale, and under. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, and under. Mindful of this transition, inhale, extend. Exhale, left palm down, right foot down. Rotate to inner edge. Kick left foot out as that kicks in. Peel body open, stack right hip on left. And take an inhale, maybe right palm sweeps forward, right foot lifts. And you can stay there, or if you would like, bend right knee, rotate hand behind back, find that outer edge of the foot, shoulder blades drop together, hips press forward, and start to expand across the right quad, hip flexor. And big inhale, we'll come out of this, expanding right side body. And exhale, tabletop. And tuck the toes once you find tabletop. And take that moment to actually tuck and maybe spread the flesh along the bottom side of the toes out. Feels kind of nice. And then press into palms, press into feet. Lift the knees off the ground about two inches. We're going to pause here, building some heat in that belly once again. Really lengthen the spine. Gaze a bit forward here. And shoulders are over wrists. Knees and hips are stacked hopefully without changing the length of the spine we're simply going to press into the hands and shift the hips all the way back like we're loading up our dog and then from here begin to straighten the legs slowly staying on the pads of the feet on high toes and take a breath here into the length of the body and then exhale heels are going to slowly descend down to the ground okay Look forward at the hands. Make sure that they're still shoulder width distance apart. Make sure those pointers are still facing forward or the webbing if you have tighter shoulders. And this time, let's wrap those shoulder blades down a bit and then draw the shoulder heads away from the ears. And feel that length for the spine. Also support right around the shoulders and neck. Starting to awaken the legs. Inhale and rise. Exhale, heels descend. Make sure you have at least a foot with distance between the feet, so maybe step them just a bit wider. This time we're inhaling to those toes. Exhale, both heels go to right side. Press the hips back into down dog. Don't shift forward. That's a tendency. We're still pressing back. Inhale, rise to toes. Exhale, both heels go to left. Inhale through center. Exhale to right. One more time. Inhale through center. Exhale to left. Now, if you were with us on Sunday, you know where we're going from here. So inhale, come to down dog. Um, stay for the exhale. Then inhale, forward to plank pose. Let's take our plank, find our plank. Keep that same width between the feet. Draw the chest forward a bit through the biceps. Really elongate the spine here. Tuck that belly in. Tilt the tailbone towards the inner ankles. Feel all the activation in the body here. Watch those knees. Instead of bending, if you get um, feel a little weak in this posture, really want you to press the back of the legs upwards towards that ceiling to activate the quads. And then inhale here. Exhale, both heels are going to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to left. Inhale through center. Exhale to left. Left on exhale. We'll come plank, bring forearms to ground, shoulder or elbows are underneath shoulders. Hands spread wide. We're going to inhale and center, bring those hips to shoulder height, and then both heels to right. Getting those obliques to play on breath count, both heels to left. And coming to center, both heels to right. Center, both heels to right. Feel the heat burning here, and then very slowly bring hips down to the ground. Release the feet, point those toes to the back of the room. Activate the legs, press down through the top 
tops of the feet here. So much so that those knees and quads lift off ground. So take that moment, tilt the tailbone a bit towards the inner ankles, and then activate the glutes to grip them into the hamstrings. So not squeeze together, but grip them downward. That will really help with the bottom half activation. Belly button hugs up to the spine, pubic bone placed down. Draw chest through the biceps. We'll find that mini action here, almost drawing the elbows to the hips without moving. And take the inhale there. And then exhale, lower belly, forehead down to the ground. Extend arms in front of you. We'll bring the pinky side down. Activate the arms once again. Press into the ground to lift the forearms, elbows, triceps off ground. Keep the legs active. On inhale, upper body lifts. And feet are placed down into the ground. Exhale there. One more time, inhale and exhale. And this time, lower down. Bring palms underneath shoulders, forehead is down. And keep low body active. As you inhale into cobra, lift palms with you. So inhale, draw chest forward, and palms lift off ground. Elbow is drawing back towards those hips, using the belly and back muscles to support this. Inhale and exhale. Last final breath, inhale and exhale. And this time, forehead comes down to ground. Walk those palms, one palm print back. Hug biceps in, elbows directed upwards towards ceiling. Inhale, draw chest through, maybe to high cobra. Maybe to up dog if you're ready. Lift hips off ground, thighs, knees, shins are off ground. And exhale, use the belly, draw the hips all the way back. We'll meet in down dog. Walk palms back forward if you need. Feet hip socket with distance apart. On your inhale, lift right leg towards ceiling. As you exhale, right knee to nose. We're gonna keep the core in play through practice. So inhale, extend all the way back. Exhale, all the way under body, knee forward towards nose. Inhale, extend one leg dog. Exhale, make that space, step foot between the hands, left knee to ground. So this is where if you need that pad, that extra towel, bring that underneath the left knee, untuck toes, press through the top of the foot, keep the leg active. Press into the right foot, inhale, rise, a little crescent lunge. And take a few breaths here, letting the left thigh, the left hip open up. And then exhale, we're forward folding, framing right foot, tucking left toes to runner's lunge. Once again, inhale, draw chest forward, keep a strong, active left leg. Option here to bring left palm on that block if it's available. And place palm on block, lengthen on inhale, peel open on exhale, twisting to right. Keep a long spine here, heel to top of head. And then right palm comes down on the inner edge of right foot. We'll bring this block off to the side. Plant the palms for high lizard. Angle the right foot outward so both hips can open up here. Strong left leg, inhale in low lizard, or in high lizard. Exhale, step right foot back to meet left in plank pose. So listen closely here. Your option is always to bring knees down in your plank or knees up. But inhale, we're shifting forward. Exhale, lowering halfway and pausing. Keep that long spine, open chest. Take the inhale, then press to plank on exhale. Whew. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, knees up or down. Inhale, draw chest forward. Exhale, hips come all the way back, down dog. And take a big breath in your down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot forward between the palms. Pad the right knee if you need. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Actively pressing into both feet. Supporting the posture. Hugging hips together. And then folding forward from here, framing left foot, tucking right toes. Take runner's lunge, lengthen spine, bring block underneath right hand. And take the inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist open to left. And bring left palm back down on the inner edge of left foot, heel to left foot out wide. Bring block off to the side, take high lizard. Once again, keep that angle on the left foot so left knee is tracking over left ankle. No further forward. 
but just over in the same direction of the toes. Strong right leg here. Press into palms. Inhale, high lizard. Exhale, stepping back to plank. You know where we're going. So inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend doubles halfway. Press into palms. And take plank pose. Inhale, we're coming forward again. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, hips come all the way back down dog. And take a breath in down dog. And inhale, rise to the toes from here. Walk forward to the front of the mat. Try to land your heels before toes. So we're still going to open up the back of the legs, whether that's straight legs or taking bend in knees. Really try to go heel, toe, heel, toe. Feel that activation. Be mindful of it. We'll meet at top of the mat. Big forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to let the belly start to rest towards the thighs. Top of the head drawing to ground. Really letting the upper body kind of open up, traction out. Letting the back body open from heels to hips. And then hips all the way to head. All right. Feet should be underneath hips from here. Let's shift the weight a bit to the toes. Bend the knees as much as you might need to do that. And then on inhale, bring palms and shins together. And press them into one another. So shins are pressing into palms as much as palms are pressing into shins to draw chest forward, half lift. Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, forward fold. And palms come down to ground for Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, find length of spine. Draw chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. And this time we're coming to stand. Same activation in length. Inhale, half lift, then sweep palms wide high. And palms come together, Urdhva Hastasana at top of mat. Exhale, palms heart center, Samasitihi. Let's tuck the chin in for a moment and close the eyes here. And activate this standing posture as much as you would do in plank pose. And so press all four corners of the feet into the ground. And then tilt the tailbone. You can bring your palms to the front of the belly and back, low back. So tilt the tailbone down a little bit. You can do this with eyes closed if you'd like, just to kind of feel out the dynamics of your own body. And then from there, lift up and out of the waistline. Draw those floating ribs in. And draw shoulders back down. And we'll place palms to face forward in mountain pose or Tadasana. And lift the ears from the tops of the shoulders. Crown of the head reaches towards ceiling. And coming back to that breath work that we did, it's always good to be mindful of transitions. Um, but it's really inspired by a quote by Lao Tzu. And he says, to the still mind, the universe unfolds. And so in this opportunity to calm ourselves with breath work and find the space of the moments, when we're able to do that, when we find stillness in our mind, in our body, the universe unfolds. We get to see the small things in life. Let's bring a smile to the lips here. Big sweep of the palms upward. Inhale, Urdhva Asana. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, palms to shins. We're building on what we started. Exhale, left foot steps back, left knee down. Pad these knees as you need. Inhale, sweep palms, low crescent lunge. Exhale, fold forward, tuck left toes. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, twist open to right. Bring palm back down. Next, inhale, high lizard. And then exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips come all the way back, down dog. Building on this, right leg rises, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps forward between palms. Staying in runner's lunge. Take the inhale, lengthen spine. Sweep fingertips to back of room. Palms rotate down. Stay on exhale. Then inhale, sweep palms forward like you're holding a block between them. Exhale, sweep palms back. Place palms around right foot. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, straighten right leg towards crescent variation. Be gentle on the back of the leg, the hamstring. Draw chest down on inhale. Exhale, re-bend right knee, runner's lunge. Activate right hip. Lift left heel towards hip height. Inhale there. Exhale, Shiva squat, left knee outside edge of right calf. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, foot comes down. 
half lift on inhale, forward fold, exhale, sweep palms wide high on inhale, exhale, samasthiti, he palms come to heart center, inhale, urdhva hastasana, exhale, forward fold, uttanasana, inhale, half lift, ardha uttanasana, exhale, forward fold, right foot steps back, right knee down, low crescent lunge on inhale, forward fold on exhale, runner's lunge, inhale, twist open on exhale, and bring left palm down, high lizard on, oh, yeah, high lizard on inhale, I think, <laughs> and then step left foot back to plank on exhale, shift forward on inhale, lower halfway on exhale, inhale, peel heart open, exhale, press away, lift hips back, down dog, left leg rises on inhale, left foot steps forward on exhale, Heel heart open, stay in that runner's lunge, reach palms behind, and take the inhale, lengthen spine. Then both palms come forward like you're holding that block. Long spine here, engaged core. Inhale there, exhale, palms around front foot. Runner's lunge on inhale, high pyramid on exhale. Inhale into runner's lunge, walk palms forward, lift right heel to hip height on exhale. And take the inhale, extend out, exhale, knee to calf. Inhale, extend, exhale, right foot steps down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Sweet palms come to stand, big inhale, exhale, palms come to heart center, samasthiti. Sun salutation A here. So we're just going to come through some traditional movements, just moving um, body with breath. And we'll do this two times together. So just follow through, add vinyasas, skip vinyasas, whatever your body needs. Inhale, sweep palms high, urdhva hastasana, forward fold, exhale, uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, plant palms, step right foot back, followed by left. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower. Here's the opportunity coming up. Inhale, we're coming to up dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga if you want. Press to plank, inhale, hips come all the way back, exhale. So that's that extra chaturanga if you want to build a little bit more heat in the practice. We'll take another breath together today. Inhale. And exhale, release. Rise to the toes, inhale. Exhale, step right foot forward between palms, runners, lunge, inhale. Exhale, left foot follows, forward fold. Half lift on inhale, forward fold, exhale. And come to stand, inhale. Palms heart center on exhale. Last time, inhale, sweet palms, urdhva hastasana. Forward fold, exhale, uttanasana. Half lift on inhale. Exhale, plant palms, left foot steps back, followed by right. And shift forward on inhale. Exhale, lower, inhale, open that heart. Once again, if you'd like, come back to chaturanga, strong body, press into palms. Hips come all the way back and then we'll meet there. center samasthiti and take a breath into the body and feel the energy the heat that's been building and feel the strength the vitality bring a smile to your face that's all yours so coming into chair pose both options um, any option really applies any single day feet can be hip socket with distance apart if that's better for your knees and hips or if you're coming into chair with big toes touching, they touch, a little space between those ankles. Then when you come into chair, inner knees are touching. All right, let's meet at the top of mat. Find the position for your feet. Inhale, Utkatasana or chair pose. Peel belly off chest, fingertips reach upward. You can bring your awareness to your back body. I'm trying to create one long lengthy line or one long line from your tailbone all the way up back, arms to fingertips. So just activate all of that 
Reach fingertips away from those hip creases. Draw shoulder blades down back. Keep a long neck here. Inhale. On exhale, we're twisting to right. But left palms forward, right palm is back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to left. Let the heat build in the chair here. Inhale to center. One more time each side. Exhale to right. Left palm forward, right palm back. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist open, left palm back, right palm forward. We're coming to center. Inhale in chair. I know it's burning. Exhale, bend knees forward, full palms to ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant palms. Step right foot back or jump to chaturanga. We'll meet you there. Exhale, we're lowering down halfway. Inhale, peel heart open. Exhale, hips are coming all the way back, down dog. Meeting in down dog, inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to nose, hollow belly. Inhale, extend back, one leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Stay shifted forward. Inhale, right knee hovers, body is in plank. Exhale, hug knee up to nose. And step right foot forward for low runner's lunge to begin with. Set feet for high crescent here. So bend left knee slightly. We're gonna use that support. Press into feet, inhale, rise to high crescent. Once you find high crescent, Shift your right hip back in line with left. Hug those outer hips together. From here, inhale, twist open to right, left palm forward, right palm behind. Maybe gaze follows towards right thumb. Inhale, coming back forward. Exhale, exalted crescent lunge, right palm to inner left thigh, left palm reaching towards ceiling. Inhale, back to high crescent lunge. Exhale, fold forward halfway, torso over thighs, palms or fingertips reaching back, palms facing down. Now here's our little transition. So hug that right hip in, hop the back foot in, inhale, we're rising warrior three. So left foot reaches up towards hip height, long line of energy here. Keep reaching back with the left foot, forward with the top of the head. And for those of you looking for a balanced transition, you're gonna follow me. If the left foot touches down, no worries. Inhale, we're coming through standing, really strong right leg. Then lifting left knee towards hip height. We'll transition to tree pose here, but press into that standing leg first. Really tilt tailbone down, hug belly in. Then from here, left palm can guide left foot towards inner right thigh. You're going to press them into one another. Re-engage that belly, re-tilt that tailbone down. Then zip up through the inseam of the right leg. Lots of stuff going on. Reach palms towards the ceiling if you'd like. Lengthen that out. Letting the energy travel through the body helps to create buoyancy in the balance. So you're ebbing and flowing with the waves of energy that are cycling through your body. Take the inhale as you are. Exhale, we're coming back for a transition here. Palms through heart center. Gently release foot, left knee to hip height. Warrior three with prayer hands. Left leg extends all the way back. Warrior three, bend right knee. Reach those left toes all the way to the back of your mat. Carefully land down. We're finding high crescent. High crescent here. Straighten both legs. Inhale. Exhale, bend that left knee. Split squats. I know, we're just going to make it burn for a little bit. Inhale, extend. Exhale and lower. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Last time now to crescent. Inhale. Warrior one on exhale. Left heel comes down. Pop that back foot out just a little bit. Rotate both hips to face forward. Strong back leg. Keep those fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. And pay attention to the outer edge of your left foot. Try to seal that down, right? And then notice that back left knee can sometimes bend. Really press into the outer edge. Spiral the, the left inner thigh back, left outer thigh forward. And bring palms behind back, interlace. Big inhale, exhale, humble warrior. We're going to dive the belly down on the inside edge of right thigh, top of head reaching towards ground. And press into feet from here. And big inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, palms come down to high lizard, inner edge of right foot. Heel to right foot to outer edge. You're on the ball of the back foot here. Take this breath in high lizard, letting left hip extend down without releasing back leg. Now bring back knee to ground. Pad the knee if you need. 
If your shoulder and your chest cooperate as well as the knee, bend left knee, sweep right arm all the way back behind. We're gonna take that foot in hand, shift weight forward towards the left thigh. And then release left foot, both palms come down, inhale, lift high, lizard. Guide right foot back to your midline of the mat. Roll to outer edge of both feet. Inhale, peel, body open. Vashisthasana or plank pose, modified plank pose. Take the inhale there, then exhale, step right foot to stack upon left. Notice your tailbone, if it's tilting back, try to zip that in. Lift both, or right, lift your right hip towards the ceiling. Maybe right palm also comes forward, inhale. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Lower halfway on exhale. Inhale to up dog. Peel heart through and up. Exhale, hips come all the way back down dog. Left leg rises on inhale. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, extend leg back. Exhale, knee to nose. This time, inhale, knee comes to ground. Extend out. Find that long plank pose for the body. And on exhale, knee hugs up. Place foot between palms for a low runner's lunge. Then set feet for high crescent. Bend the right knee. From there, we're going to rise. Inhale. If you'd like, straighten that back leg any amount your body allows. Take a few breaths into the posture. We'll take our next inhale here. Exhale, twisting open to left. Left palm back, right palm forward. Inhale, coming forward once again. Exhale, exalted crescent, left palm in a right thigh, really reaching right palm upwards towards ceiling. And then inhale back to crescent. Exhale, sweep the um, sweep palms forward and back. Extend torso halfway over left thigh. Rotate palms down. Feel all that length for the body. Hug the left hip in. Hop the back foot up. Strengthen the left leg. Rise warrior three. So this practice today is all about these foundations to strengthen and rise from. So we're going a little slower, but we'll be a little more stronger. And keep extending that right heel back, top of head forward for the length for the body. And follow this transition. Inhale, we're coming through standing. Right knee is rising up towards hip height. And then right palm can help right foot come to inner left thigh for tree pose. And palms can be at heart center. Once again, tailbone tilts down, belly engaged. Zip up from the inseam of the left leg. And then if you would like, palms can rise. Maybe on this one, you take Yana Mudra, which is the pointer and thumb with one another. It's the mudra of knowledge in our yogic practice. And bring palms back towards center or heart center. Find steadiness and strength in the standing leg. Release right foot. Inhale through warrior three, like a pendulum or tilting forward and back. And then pointing right toes, bending left knee, touching down crescent lunge. Palms rise on inhale for crescent and left leg straightens. Split squats here. Exhale, right knee lowers. Inhale, extend up. Exhale and lower. Inhale and up. And exhale, lower. Finding high crescent on inhale. And then exhale, we're coming to warrior one. Yeah, so step right, right foot out a little bit. Hug back or hug left hip in line with right. Reach both palms up, inhale. And start to open up the front of the right hip a little bit more here. Really ground down through the outer edge of the right foot. Straighten and strengthen that right leg. Sweep palms behind back, interlace fingers. Lift hard on inhale, humble warrior on exhale. Keep hugging that left hip in as you dive belly on the inner edge of left foot and, or left thigh. And gazing towards back ankle. And press into feet, inhale, rise warrior one, strong legs here. Exhale, fold forward, high lizard, both palms on the inner edge of left foot. We're gonna heel toe that foot out. Really drop down into that right thigh. And then bending right knee here. If you feel healthy in the shoulder and the chest, then we're gonna reach the right heel towards the hip, the buttocks. Sweep left palm all the way back around. Find that foot, really shift the weight down in towards that right thigh. Exhale. 
and then release. Foot if it's in the hand, tuck those right toes, find high lizard one more time, start to strengthen the body, guide the left foot back midway, rotate to outer edge of both feet, press away from the ground with the hips here, notice all that elevation, and then left palm reach it. We'll start there in Vashisthasana variation, side plank variation. Really strong here, inhale. Then as you exhale, step left foot upon right. Keep reaching high here. Maybe left palm sweeps forward. Long line of energy in the body. And plank pose, we'll meet there. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Toes, exhale, press all the way down, back down dog. And let's meet it down dog here. And give ourselves a little bit of release for the low back as well as the shoulders. So set the feet towards the outer edge of the mat. Little bend in those knees. Keep pressing the belly back. Keep pressing the chest back. We should feel a little bit of release here for the low back. Keep rotating those shoulder blades around the rib cage. So broadening across shoulders and then shoulder heads away from ears, finding all that length for the neck as well so the spine can elongate traction out. And then let's meet once again in down dog. And walk the palms back out if they came in a little bit. Shift forward to plank on inhale. Exhale, we're coming down to forearms. So we're gonna walk the palms forward first to this long plank pose. Take the inhale there, and then exhale, use that strength to bring those forearms down simultaneously. Yes, all right, keep elbows underneath shoulders, fingers spreading wide, release tension here, but engage body. Belly is hugging into spine. And take the inhale and the exhale here in plank, then walk feet in for dolphin. Walk any amount you're able to. So it's like down dog on your forearms. The feet keep walking in, and then once the feet are walked in, continue to press that head in between your biceps, belly and chest towards the thighs. And so option to stay here, or if you would like, we're going to lift right heel towards ceiling, really active in both legs, neutral in the hips. And then bring the right foot back down to the ground, lift the left foot, once again, neutral and active. Left foot comes back down, maybe toes walking just a little bit. And then feet walk all the way back out. We'll take forearm plank together there. So no matter where you came to, we're meeting here. Lengthen the body, one cycle of breath, letting the heat build, and then a sphinx pose where we started. Untuck toes, let's stack those palms. Bring the forehead all the way back down to the palms. Give the back a little bit of a wiggle. Whew. Let a sigh out. We're almost there, all right. We'll take a back bend together. So for the back bend, we'll do locust variation or shalambasana. So palms can reach, we'll reach back towards the feet. Forehead starts on ground, I'm just talking here. So keep your forehead on the ground. Really reach those fingertips back towards the outer ankles. Zip those, those thighs together and draw the inner thighs to inner ankles, outer thighs to outer ankles. And I'll keep really nice, long, strong legs behind you. Press into tops of feet. On this inhale, we're going to peel the chest through and up. Exhale and stay. Inhale, lift palms about three inches off ground. Exhale and stay. Inhale, lift feet. Exhale and stay. One more breath. Inhale, lift just a little higher. Exhale, hold that length and strength. Exhale, lower all the way down. One more time now. Take palms behind back. Interlace palms to the C grip that we've been working with in Humble Warrior. Draw knuckles towards your inner ankles. Find all that length and activation. Inhale, Shalambhasana variation. And draw shoulder heads away from ears, blades down back, lift thumbs off tailbone. Lift, strengthen. One more breath. Lift and strengthen, release. Bring palms back underneath forehead. Give your tushy a little wiggle. Release that low back. And then extend the right arm forward. We'll roll over the right side, meet on our backs. Once you meet there on the back, very gently hug the knees into the belly. Be really gentle here on the low back. Our low back is like a little rubber band, so we don't wanna bend and snap and bend and snap. We just wanna be nice and thoughtful with it. Feel out your range of motion. 
and then draw thighs a bit wider here. We'll take happy baby, either with palms on shins or reach elbows to inner knees, palms to outer feet. Draw the knees in and up, and then if low back is still on the ground, you can extend feet towards ceiling. If your low back is lifting, and then please release feet, take shins again, and that will be your point of connection for compression against the back. And then release the feet down to the ground. Um, bring the arms out like a T and lift knees over hips. We're going to keep them at 90 degrees today. Lift knees over hips. Bring both knees to the left side first. Stack right hip upon left. And then gaze towards right hand. Spinal twist. Bring both knees all the way to center, and then to the right. Stack left hip upon right, gazing towards left arm. Starting to release the practice, ground the energy here. Both knees to center once again. And this time extend the feet upwards towards the ceiling. We'll stack heels over hips. Letting the blood drain out. Reversing the blood flow from our feet to our hips. Detoxifying. Mm, wiggle toes, bend knees. And set yourself up for a moment of Shavasana together. Extend the legs long. Flip the palms upward. Release the hips. Release the shoulders. And take up as much space as you'd like. Release the breath. Let the energy be soft. Let the mind be still. Start to notice the breath in the body. And let those inhales bring in new energy, new light, new love. Let those exhales continue to release anything within you no longer need. Tension, stress, blockage. And let yourself move forward with new light, new energy, new love. No matter what the day begins or brings. And bend the knees. And come to seated. You can keep the eyes closed here. Awareness is internal.